the commands of Jesus, as recorded in the Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to Mark. The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, and believe the gospel. Follow me, and I will make you to be fishers of men. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Take heed what you hear. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. And to you who hear, more will be given. In whatever place you enter a house, stay there till you depart from that place. And whoever will not receive you nor hear you, when you depart from there, shake off the dust under your feet as a testimony against them. Listen to me, everyone and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the leaven of Herod. Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. If you can, believe. All things are possible to him who believes. Do not stop him, for no one who does a miracle in my name can in the next moment say anything bad about me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Truly I tell you, anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name because you belong to the Messiah will certainly not lose their reward. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed rather than having two hands to go to hell into the fire that shall never be quenched. If your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. 
it is better for you to enter life lame, rather than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that shall never be quenched. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Have salt in yourselves, and have peace with one another. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. Go your way. Sell whatever you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross and follow me. Have faith in God. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. When you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God those that are God's. The first of all the commandments is, Hear, Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. Thou shalt therefore love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, that is, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Watch out for the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honour at banquets. They devour widows' houses, and for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and will deceive many.
When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be troubled, for such things must happen, but the end is not yet. Watch out for yourselves, for they will deliver you up to councils, and you will be beaten in the synagogues. You will be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony to them. The gospel must first be preached to all the nations. When they arrest you and deliver you up, do not worry beforehand or premeditate what you will speak. But whatever is given you in that hour, speak that, for it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. When you see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down into the house, nor enter to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. At that time, if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Messiah, or Look, there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see these things happening, know that it is near, at the doors. Of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Take heed, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time is. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone, watch. Take, eat, this is my body. Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation.
Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. These are the commands that the living Jesus gave.